based on statements that have been made by Philip Caldwell. He will be supporting Lisa Hanna for the presidency of the People's National Party, but he will not be campaigning for her. Vice President of the People's National Party, Philip Caldwell, has publicly declared his support for Lisa Hanna's challenge for the party president. November 7, 2020, Lisa Hanna, who is currently the Member of Parliament for St. Anne Southeastern and the Shadow Minister for Foreign Affairs and Foreign Trade, will go up against the Member of Parliament for St. Andrew Southern, Mark Golding, for the presidency of the People's National Party. In a statement that was made by Paul Well, he mentioned that although Lisa Hanna is the better candidate, he will not be campaigning. He mentioned that, however, he will reserve himself to assist in ensuring that a united political organization exists after the elections have concluded. He further went on to state, as is my abiding principle, I pledge my loyalty to the new leader once elected. In the interim, Paul Well has mentioned that his decision came after careful consideration of the matter. He stated that he carefully considered the matter of presidency of the People's National Party prior to making his decision about who to support. Among the issues that Paul Well stated that he considered are the need for unity and the need for the rebuilding of the political organization. The People's National Party's Vice President also mentioned that he had consultations in which he examined the potential contribution of both the political aspirants before concluding that Hannah was the better choice to renew and re-energize the People's National Party. Based on statements that have been made by Paul Well, he was also cognizant of the public opinion polls on the party's leadership. He further went on to state that the polls have shown that Lisa Hanna is more favored than Mark Golding. After the record low turnout of 37% in the September 3rd parliamentary election, I believe that it would be unwise to ignore the views that have been expressed by persons at all demographic levels of the society. Paul Will has urged both teams to campaign vigorously bearing in mind that the imperative of unity and the protection of the image and reputation of the People's National Party is paramount. With the November 7th date for the PNP presidential elections drawing closer, Ms. Hannah has managed to garner some huge endorsements in her race to become the next president of the People's National Party. She has managed to garner the endorsement of two critical People's National Party's members as the campaign for the presidency of the People's National Party intensifies. Vice President of the People's National Party, Philip Paulwell, has publicly declared that he will be throwing all of his support behind Lisa Hanna, but however, he will not be campaigning any at all. His focus was that he wanted to ensure that the party remained united after the election was finished. According to Paul Well, PNP delegates are set to select a new president on November 7th, after Dr. Peter Phillips will demit office on November 6th. He indicated on September 4th that he would be stepping down from the post of opposition leader and president of the People's National Party. His announcement followed the bruising defeat that the People's National Party suffered in the September 3rd parliamentary elections to the Jamaica Labour Party, who took all of 49 seats, to the People's National Party's 14 seats. There are currently only two challengers for the presidency of the People's National Party. There is Lisa Hanna, who is a member of parliament for South Eastern Senan and Mark Golden, who is the Member of Parliament for St. Andrew Southern. These are the only two persons who have so far declared their intentions to challenge for the People's National Party's presidential position. Both Lisa Hanna and Philip Paulwell supported Dr. Peter Phillips in 2019 during the Bunting Challenge. 
They were both a part of the Dr. Peter Phillips 1 PNP team and they managed to secure victory from the Rise United team which was being led by Peter Bontin, Dayton Campbell and Mark Golden. During September 2019, Mark Golden was the chairman of Peter Bontin's Rise United team. Of course, whilst Philip Paulwell has given his endorsements to Lisa Hanna, he has also clearly stated that he will be loyal and supportive to whomever emerges victorious in the presidential elections. Another critical PNP member, Donna Scott Motley, who is currently the leader of the opposition business in the Senate, is also throwing all her support behind Lisa Hanna. She was recently appointed chairman of Lisa Hanna's Bring Back the Love campaign and is also the campaign's chief spokesperson. She is therefore in charge of communication. According to Donna Scott Motley, every leader is chosen for a particular time. Lisa is the leader for this time. She demonstrates all of the qualities that we are in search of. Scott Motley further went on to state that they are running a campaign which is a listening campaign. They are running a campaign which is focused on bringing back the love in the People's National Party. We have been so fractured and hurt by the challenges which have taken place over the past few days. Lisa Hanna has promised to bring back unity to the People's National Party while pushing back against suggestions that she is a very divisive leader. Over the weekend, however, a group of her Senate and Southeastern constituency members claimed that Lisa Hanna had undermined the People's National Party as well as former Prime Minister Portia Simpson Miller. The campaign trail is heating up, and of course, Mark Golden is showing a lot of confidence, and he has managed to garner a lot of support from not only the private sector and former colleagues that he has worked with, but he has also garnered some critical support from the People's National Party's members as well. And many persons across Jamaica are stating that he may be the best person to lead the People's National Party at this time. But there are other persons who are stating that Lisa Hanna may be the best candidate to lead the People's National Party. She has been endorsed by Philip Paulwell and Donna Scott Motley. Fortunately, while her current focus is on ensuring that the party remains united and that she brings back the love to the People's National Party, there are many suggestions that are going around that Lisa Hanna is a very divisive leader. It has also been mentioned that she had previously undermined the People's National Party and Portia Simpson Miller. Well, whilst we do not know the facts to this information, it is up to Lisa Hanna to speak her truth. It should however be noted that Lydia Richards from the Ben Santon Division in Lisa Hanna's Southeast Senan constituency has chosen to throw all of her support behind Mark Golden because she also is of the sentiment that Lisa Hanna is divisive. Now, Lisa Hanna has managed to lose at least two councillors from her constituency as well. They chose to run as independents in 2016 elections. And of course, these two councillors along with Lydia Richards were in support of the idea that they would challenge Lisa Hanna to become the next PNP representative of the Southeast Senan constituency. Whilst they failed and Lisa Hanna no longer communicates with these three persons, this only proves that there is some factions and divisions and disunity that exists within Lisa Hanna's very own Southeast Senan constituency. And with Dayton Campbell stating that she needs to revisit the, her mandate and try to rebuild the unity within her own constituency. It only seems natural for many persons to also believe that Lisa Hanna is a divisive leader based on the issues that exist within her Senan Southeastern constituency. Well, the important thing is that she's getting endorsements from critical PNP members like Philip Paulwell and Donna Scott Motley. 
the allegations that have been made that she previously undermined the People's National Party and former Prime Minister Portia Simpson Miller may have some damaging effects to her campaign. And it should be noted that these statements are being made by persons from her Southeast Senan constituency. It makes you wonder if she's unable to garner the full support of these persons within her immediate constituency, will she now be able to garner any support from other critical persons within the People's National Party? And how much support will she be able to get from the delegates on November 7th? However, the last poll has shown that Lisa Hanna is a favorite candidate. Another statement coming from Philip Caldwell is that he is urging both party delegates and all supporters to embrace unity and focus on the core values of the People's National Party. And he stated that these include freedom of expression and being tolerant of all views. He further went on to state that he had great faith in the future of the People's National Party to reinvent, reform and rebuild itself as a strong political organization under the leadership of Lisa Hanna. And he also further stated that it will regain its position as a strong and vibrant political organization that will be able to win elections and lead policy development for the Jamaican people. Well, it seems like Lisa Hanna has garnered some critical support and some heavy endorsements from Donna Scott Motley and Philip Caldwell. They believe in her and they believe in her abilities to lead the People's National Party into a better future. Like, comment, share and subscribe. Of course, leave your feedback down below. Do you also agree with Philip Caldwell that Lisa Hanna is the better candidate and that she is more suitable to lead the People's National Party and that Lisa Hanna will be able to take this political organization to a place where they will be able to reinvent, reform and rebuild themselves so that they can become the party of choice for the Jamaican electorate. Well, of course, if you also disagree, leave your comments down below. Of course, thanks for watching and be safe.